Hello viewers, this is Dao2Fast here. This is part two of the rear reflector LED install that I'm doing on this Nissan Pathfinder. Now, if you did not watch the last video where I showed you how to modify the reflector to incorporate LED light strips inside, I'll link it at the end of this video. Now in this video, I'm gonna go through the installation of these LED reflectors into the vehicle and how to wire them up to the parking light, turn signal and brake light. So let's get started. Before I get into the installation, let me show you this set of LED reflector lights that I picked up online. And this does fit my Nissan Pathfinder. Now at the beginning of this project, I wanted to use these lights and they look really nice when they're illuminated. However, after I tested it, one of them failed within days. So I was a bit apprehensive in using these lights and that's why I decided to modify the original reflector lens. But I just wanna quickly show you what these look like. Now this one I have here still works. So let me turn on both of them so you can see a comparison look between the two. So as you can see, this one has a very nice smooth look to it. And how that accomplishes is by placing high power LEDs on either sides and that will illuminate the rod in the middle right here compared to the one that I modded myself, which is individual LED chips. Now for this installation, you will need a controller box that allow you to take your parking light, brake light and turn signal and output it to the LED reflector lights. And the controller will allow the single LED light to perform multiple functions. And for this, I'm using a controller box from the company EXLED. As you can see, this controller is very compact. On the left side, you have input for parking light, brake light and turn signal. On the right side is the output that you connect to the LED reflector lights. First thing we'll do is connect the white wire, which is your parking light, to the 12 volt. Next, we'll connect the red wire, which is your brake light, to the 12 volt, and you see it gets brighter. Now we have the yellow wire. This is your turn signal lights. So when you turn on your turn signal, I'm gonna simulate it by tapping this wire on a 12 volt source. You'll see, it'll flash. And when I remove the yellow wire, it'll go back to a solid red. And if I take off the brake wire, it'll go dimmer for the parking light. And the turn signal function works the same if I only have the parking light on, just like right now. I'll tap the yellow wire. Now, if you're curious as to what electronics they use to do the controlling of the lights, I've gone ahead and removed the cover so you can see this. So here we have the red and white wire, which is the parking and brake light. And these wires actually go to another circuit board underneath this top one right here. The yellow wire is your turn signal light. Now the top PC board is coded, so you can't really see all the traces, but I can see we have some diodes, resistor, and also two ICs that goes to the output on the right side right here. And these two wires are the ones that you connect to your reflector. Go ahead and remove this plastic panel. And then remove the two bolts right here. Now there are two plastic pins right on this edge right here. So carefully pull the light out to release those pins. And right now I'm tapping the wire on a 7443 bulb. This one will turn on the parking light and also the brake light. Now there's another socket right here. This one is for the 7440 bulb and this one is for the turn signal. And this one only has two wires. So I've already gone ahead and tested these wires with a multimeter. So let me give you a closer look at the wiring I've done so far. From the control module that's here, I've connected the white wire, which is the parking light wire, to the white wire that's on the 7443 light bulb socket right here. And then the brake wire, which is the red wire on the control module, is connected to the green wire of the 7443 light bulb socket. And the black wire, which is the ground, connects to the black wire on the light bulb socket. And the connections I've made here are done by splicing into the factory wire. 
and then soldering the controller wire onto the factory wire. Afterwards, tape it up so you don't have bare wire exposed. After this is all done, we'll tape everything up so it'll be nice and tidy. The last wire I need to tap is the green wire on the 7440 socket right here. This is for the turn signal and I'll connect to the yellow wire right here. Another thing I want to point out is because this box is not waterproof, I've gone ahead and used some sealant and sealed all around the entire case here so no water will get in. You need to do that because if water get onto the circuit board, it will fry the electronics. So here I'm going to drop the wires behind the bumper right here. Reinstall the bulbs into the taillight assembly. There's a space right here. I'm going to tuck the control modules right into this spot. I also use some double-sided tape to tape the control module onto the taillight housing here so it won't be moving around. Now we can install this back onto the vehicle. Now we'll work on the passenger side. To install this is very simple. Connect your positive to positive and negative to negative. Then we'll feed the wire into this hole. Now reach behind and install the Phillips screw. And here's a look with both installed. Right now, these are the parking lights. So let me show you how these LED reflectors look at night. And also, you'll be able to see the brightness and how they function. So first, let me turn on the parking lights. These are your parking lights. And when you press on the brake, you'll see it go brighter. Back to regular parking light. Brake again. Parking light. Here's your left turn signal. Off. Right turn signal. Off. Hazard light. Off. Left turn. Brake. Brake off. Right turn. Brake. Brake off. Turn signal off. As you can see, these LED reflector lights look great and also very functional. It definitely enhances the look of the vehicle. I hope you enjoy watching this series of videos showing you how to do a custom LED reflector mod on your vehicle. 
Now keep in mind when I ordered the control module, it took several weeks to get shipped out to me. So be aware that you're not gonna get it right away. I will include their link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Woo!